Welcome to another mobilisation video. Today we're going to be working on the wrist, so the radiocarpal joint. We're going to be performing some passive accessories today, so AP, PA, transverse medial and transverse lateral, helping our movements of flexion extension and radial and ulnar deviation. Let's get started. For the radiocarpal joint then, we're going to be looking at our AP working in, in this position here, so supinated position. Hand is it's easier if you work off the side of the bed. There are alternatives. This way is probably the easiest and most powerful for you. If it doesn't work for the patient, there are other ways of doing it. But what we can do is stabilize the forearm so that our hand is then just up against the edge of the bed here. Got to push right down so that we're towards the, the radial and ulnar styloid. So we've got our grip just on there. Now this isn't going anywhere. Then with our other hand, we're going to feel for the proximal row of carpals just in there, place the hands together so there is no gap between my two hands because that gap at that point where the two hands are meeting that is the joint line. Then we're going to be performing our AP. So the pressure is here. Don't apply the pressure down on this side, right in there across the joint line. So when we're testing our range we're just going to apply the pressure down and you should kind of push down and ever so slightly scoop outwards because of the shape of the joint. We push down and out, feeling for obviously pain and resistance. And if we're performing our AP grade one, really tiny movement, almost imperceptible. You should just be able to see almost a fidget on my hand and forearm. Grade two, slightly larger, emphasize pulling back upwards. Grade three, now we get some more motion. So you'll see my other arm now starting to have to work because I'm really having to oppose the movements that are occurring in the radius and ulna. And then grade four, keeping that pressure on. So now we're towards the end of range, small amplitude. An alternative method of doing it is just with the arm flex there. We're going to use our fifth uh, metacarpal gripping round this way, here and here, and then we work from our chest slightly. So bring the camera around so that we pull and we push our, our hands opposing one another in this motion. You see the motion just in there. This is the alternative method of doing it. For PA, we can do exactly the same grip, exactly the same handling, but this time, instead of pushing down on this hand, we're going to push down on this hand, which means we're having to pull up with our other hand. As long as your fingers can come round and you feel that you can take a decent enough grip, then, then this is okay. So from there, we're just going to grip and grip, and now we're going to pull up with my left hand, pushing down with my right hand. So this is our PA. So grade one. Grade two, larger movement. Grade three, now we're in resistance, so now I'm really having to work. You can see it glides quite nicely as well. Here, I'm getting a good amount of movement in the joint. And then grade four, keep that resistance on. Nice small amplitude movement. Okay, of course, if we can do an AP this way, we can also do our PA at the opposite direction. So just elbows out using your chest and then applying the PA in this motion. For our transverse medial, transverse lateral, we have the, the forearm in mid-prone. Same grips as we were doing before. So radial styloid, right next to that styloid process, holding here and here. So now the, the hand is in, the forearm is in mid-prone, and it's exactly the same thing. So I'm now pushing down, which is medial. If we're looking at the anatomical positions. This is the medial glide, applying that pressure down into there, testing for range and then we can perform 
grade ones, grade twos, grade three, and grade four. And of course, if that's our transverse medial, as you've already guessed, transverse lateral, instead I'm going to push down on the forearm, pull up on uh, the carpals. So I'm having to use my index finger for most of the pressure. I'm pulling up this time. This way. So I can get my grade one. Grade two. Grade three, you see more effort involved. You can see my, my other arm starting to move, the one that's holding the radius and ulna, as I'm applying the pressure on and off. And then grade four, more pressure and small oscillations. And again, we can do those in this position here, coming transverse, it's just You'll find that as you do it, the hand starts to get quite crushed when you do it, but it is possible to do it. So I'm pushing now. Now I'm pushing from here. Styloid just there. And then I can do transverse lateral. And as we said before, you can also do transverse medial. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Please keep subscribing, liking and any comments, leave them down the bottom.